Breaking day. All right, here in this episode, I'm going to be giving you guys some actual numbers. For example, how much dirt I took away, time frame, cost, all that fun stuff. To get started, we took out roughly 35 yards of dirt, and it wasn't all wasted. I actually took about 10 to 12 yards of that to level out my front lawn. So, to cover up those big old roots, completely other big old side project. I probably wouldn't have started if I had known how long that was gonna take. Either way, important step right there. Prior to pouring your footings, if you live in a typical municipality, you need to get those inspected. That was actually the first inspection I had done with in conjunction the setback. So they come out, check to make sure what you're doing is actually uh, kosher with your plans and that the footings are all set. Then if it's all approved, you can go ahead and pour. Once those are all dry, then you can actually uh, do your walls. Yes, that was me that actually made some of those forms. Probably never do it again in my life, but hey, it's always good to learn a new skill, right? So the second inspection was actually prior to this pour. It's your foundation walls. And so they come and make sure those are to plan and if it's all good, then go ahead and pour. I do, or you do not need to get a third inspection prior to the pads. That's just because not everything will be or should be on a pad. It's mostly those foundation walls. Uh, kind of a side note here, these guys that do some of these trades day in and day out, they are pretty amazing at their skill. I don't know if you've ever tried to smooth out uh, concrete. It is a lot harder than these guys make it look out to be. I mean, I'm telling you, if you have a connection, go with someone that does it that's professional. And even if, you know, it's cement work, it's not something that you can mess up on and it's not something that you have a lot of time to do. You know, you're doing these pours on a hot summer day. You've only got a couple hours to work with, if that. I mean, that was a couple hours until we started stamping the concrete pad or patio right here. So. Uh, I, I was more than fine paying um, all of these guys to come help me out and to do a fantastic job. I love how it all turned out. Some of those design changes that we ended up going with that were of course extra afterthoughts were this stamped concrete. So they're throwing down the colors. I think we used roughly three or four different colors, kind of some grays and whites. Not your typical color of stamped concrete, but I love how it turned out, which does not look like this. This hasn't been sealed yet. It actually looks like this. And uh, some other ones were, of course, we had to make it bigger as we were laying it out. And then the, uh, the crawl space. Typically crawl spaces, you just throw down gravel or dirt and you call it good, but we kind of weighed the pros and cons and thought, you know what, the little extra will be worth the extra storage. Uh, we're gonna get roughly about 300 square feet of storage down there. So super excited about that. All in all, we were sitting right about 18,000. I mean, that included the earthwork, which was a big portion of it. Uh, gravel, rebar, cement, which ended up being about 35 to 40 yards. Uh, the great point about this whole thing was we did it from start to finish in under two weeks. So happy to see that. We were still on schedule at the end of concrete. And look what came! Hey, all of the lumber! Uh, they came and dropped it off, and <laughs> when I say dropped off, I really mean they dropped it off. I. I can't believe that more pieces weren't broken, but it's not, and I guess they really know what they're doing, making deliveries all day long. So, what does that mean? Walls are coming up here shortly. Stay tuned. We'll see you next time.